Uh, the park opened in 75. Uh, where the free roaming area, of course, is a little over four, is 435 acres. The park itself is uh, over 700 now, I believe. Our philosophy here at Northwest Trek is really to immerse people in nature, get them to experience the wildlife that they would see here in the Pacific Northwest, just like they would out in the wild. So as you're walking down the pathways, you're in this beautiful, lush, forested area, and you come across an exhibit where you can view wildlife. So it's really all about getting people comfortable in nature, getting them up close to see the wildlife, and really start to engage and really care about the wildlife that calls home here in the Pacific Northwest. So we've got a large herd of uh, Roosevelt elk. Uh, we've got a herd of bison, an American bison. And we display uh, the native uh, black-tailed deer, uh, as well as uh, bighorn sheep, mountain goats, and caribou here in the free roaming area. The tram tour is really our signature feature, unlike anything else that you'll find at other zoos or wildlife parks. It's a guided 50 minute tour. You take a five mile tram route that's narrated by a naturalist. And like I said, the animals can co-mingle. It's not a typical zoo exhibit where you move from species to species. These animals can can co-mingle and they can move through forests and wetlands and open meadows. So every day really is different here, um, especially as a visitor where you don't know when you take one tram to the next where you're going to see any of these critters. There are very few places that exhibit only native wildlife. So unlike other more traditional zoos where you can see exotic species like lions and tigers, everything that you do here at Northwest Trek is as if you were in the wild in the Pacific Northwest. And we really try and engage people and immerse people in the natural world around them. So we're going to cruise through the herd. People often want to call them buffalo, and they are related to, but not actually buffalo. Buffalo are found in places like Africa and Asia. So the animals that we have here in the Northwest and in the United States are bison. They are uh, extremely large animals. A male bison can weigh uh, 2,000 pounds. And the herd that we have here, we have about 20 or so bison in our herd, which consists of both males, females, and young. So we've had several bison calves born this year, and they're very distinct. You can always pick them out of the crowd because the bison calves, when they're born, have a very orange color to their fur. We do have swans here on exhibit in our free roaming area. The swans that we have are called trumpeter swans. And this time of year, they're actually building their nests. One of the really interesting things about the swans in the free roaming area here and swans in the wild is that they need to protect their nest from wild predators. And even though we are a wildlife park and we maintain what animals we have here, wildlife still can come in. In the case of the free roaming area, we have raccoons. Fortunately for the swans, they know to build their nest on a floating mat out in the water so that it's going to keep the eggs and the babies safe from predators like the raccoon. I'm here at the bald eagle exhibit. We have two eagles on exhibit here at Northwest Trek. These eagles were wild born, but were unfortunately injured in the wild and now will live out the rest of their days here at Northwest Trek. The visitors appreciate what we offer because it is so unique, um, not just in the free roaming area, but the way we do the core area exhibits as well. So here at Trek is a chance to, to see animals that live in your own backyard. It is a great day trip. It's not far from, from Portland. It's not far from Seattle. And it's a place where you can kind of come and relax and enjoy what the Northwest has to offer without feeling like you're out in the middle of nowhere.